So today I decided I was going to film, a, not a story time, but tell you guys a bunch of really embarrassing stories that have happened to me and just let you guys know how dysfunctional of a person I actually am on a day-to-day -day basis. Now for some people you might be like, oh my gosh, this is really embarrassing. For some people you might be like, Brit, that's minor, that is nothing. But for me, they were really embarrassing and like now I don't care about a lot of things. I'm a very like carefree type of person or I like to try to be. So if you've ever met me or see me on Twitter or talk to me in any way, you kind of know I embarrass myself about like once an hour and I tend to just like go with it or accept it kind of thing, which I guess is good, but I always, I wasn't always this way. So here's a few times that I embarrassed myself uh, and have come to terms to tell the stories. Does that make sense? Probably not. Oh well. The first, I'm going to tell you three today. So the first one we'll start off with was when I was in middle school. I was in seventh grade and where I live in like this area, middle school is only seventh and eighth grade. I know that for some places it's different, but for me it was seventh and eighth grade. So I was in seventh grade and back then, I don't know if it's still the same thing, I'm old now, I don't know, but we were called like Sevies and obviously you looked up to all the eighth graders because they were like so cool. I know that it was when it was cold out because I was wearing white jeans, which is very important to the story, a sweater, and flip-flops because I live in Arizona and I like to push the limits when it's cold out and wear flip-flops, you know? Cool! Yes! I just want aesthetically pleasing background. I... Really? So, it was raining one day or had been, I don't know. Arizona does that sometimes, it's crazy. But I know that there was puddles and it was after school and I was in flip-flops, white jeans, and a sweater, like I said. And I was running late for the bus because I, I was a cool kid who rode the bus all the time. But I was running or speed walking or something and I freaking slipped into a puddle of like water and mud in front of a ton of eighth graders because eighth graders would like stay after school and hang out and stuff like that. Of course, all these 8th graders are like laughing at me because they don't know who I am, I'm irrelevant. And they're just like, ha, that sucks. And they're like laughing and I'm like, ha, yup, it does suck, cool. I'm mortified at this point. I get up and the entire like side of my like white jeans are just muddy. And so now I'm even more late to the bus and now I have to get onto the bus just covered in mud and everyone's like, ha, 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 what happened? And I'm like, what do you think happened? I fell in mud and then my bus stop was far away from my house and like so then I had to walk home in front of a bunch of people again just covered in mud and now that I'm saying it, I'm like Brit it wasn't like you're making it a lot more dramatic than it actually was but like I'm always dramatic so it was actually really mortifying 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 at the time <sighs> yeah I think it was a Friday so luckily I could like lock myself in my room for two days and just ignore the world so I fall a lot. I, I guess that's what this is gonna go to because the second story I have for you guys is it was my freshman year of high school. All these stories tend to be like when I was like at the bottom of the totem pole and like really went and impressed like older people. It was PE and we had to run the bleachers one day. I'm a very not athletic person. I just, I'm just not. And so we had to run the bleachers and all was good and well until the last set. And there was an art class out there because the art, you have to like draw something, I don't know. But they were drawing something outside so they were all sitting on the bleachers and it was a bunch of upperclassmen and like, and my PE class and the PE class that was like at the same time. So there was honestly probably like 60 to 90 kids around because we were all running them together. I'm just running on my last set of bleachers sitting right next to the people who we're drawing and like all the other PE classes and I'm running and I fall down the bleachers. I was running down and like miss a step or my shoes, I don't know what it was, but I freaking fell down like three stairs of bleachers in front of, and then obviously people are like running behind me too. So then they're like, like tripping over me and like had to move. And so it was very obvious and became like a huge pile, not like legit pile up, but like back up because they all had to like wait for me to get up. So then I got up and I was like, Except for I didn't do that because I was mortified because again you could hear everyone laughing and I was like sick and like my knees were bleeding and it was not a good time and the last story I had a video on my channel about it but I took it down so some of you might have heard about it some of you might have not but 
I freaking ran into a pole and broke my nose. And so we were like playing this game on the playground and I made a sharp turn and instead of like, I was turning to go up a ladder and instead of going up the ladder, I turned and hit a pole. And I didn't like realize it all the time. I was like, eh, whatever. Like I was more embarrassed at the time that like, I kept losing the game and so I was really mad and like wanted to chase people and I was like BAM hit a pole. And like teachers all came running over to me, they're like, don't freak out, it's okay. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm bleeding. But like it's kind of embarrassing, you know, like I ran into a pool in front of a bunch of people and like broke my nose and then it bled for five hours and I had two black eyes and then <sighs> I think the moral of the story is these aren't embarrassing. I just need to pay more attention to life. Those are three of like my most embarrassing stories. I'm sure that things have happened to me that are way more embarrassing that I'm just trying to block out of my life. If you guys enjoyed this, I can definitely figure out things that were embarrassing. I mean, like I said, I do an embarrassing thing like once an hour, so. I'm sure I can make another one of these with more dramatic or less dramatic or I don't know. I feel like at every video I end it with like justifying like, I hope this video was funny, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. So I'm not gonna do that because I know this video is funny and I know you're gonna thumbs it up and I know you're gonna subscribe. So I'll talk to you guys next week. <gasps> Bye! I don't even know what the heck a mob is. I, I just love the cube.